All right, you guys, if you guys want to learn how I make my potato soup, go ahead and keep on watching. If not, go ahead and fast forward to the mukbang, and we are going to taste this delicious soup. Here is everything you guys are going to need for this delicious potato soup. A pot to cook it in, three to four russet potatoes, one small to medium size white onion, about three garlic cloves, one carrot, two stalks of celery, chives for garnish, two tablespoons of butter, four strips of bacon that I just cut with my kitchen shears, chicken broth, some heavy whipping cream, some dill and some parsley, shredded cheddar cheese, and then some salt and pepper. All right, let's get started. First thing in the pan is your chopped up bacon. Let this bacon cook down and get crispy. Once your bacon is to your desired crispiness, go ahead and take it out of the pan. And I'm just gonna put mine on a bowl lined with a paper towel. We're gonna be using this as a topper, so set it to the side. Add in your onion, celery, and carrots. And let these cook until the onion is translucent. Add the two tablespoons of butter. Add a couple pinches of salt. Now that our onions are translucent and the celery and carrots have cooked down a little bit, we're going to add our garlic, a tablespoon of dill, and a tablespoon of parsley. A healthy pinch of pepper. I'm gonna mix that in, let it cook all together. Just for about 30 seconds. We don't want that garlic to burn. All right, I can smell the garlic now, so at this point I'm going to add my potatoes. And I did let my potatoes sit in some cold water while I was cooking everything so that they don't oxidize and turn color. And I'm gonna mix the potatoes with everything. And then this will determine if I want to add more seasoning or not because I like a good herby potato soup. I'm going to add my chicken broth. I wanna make sure there's at least enough broth to cover your potatoes. Let this come to a boil and let our potatoes cook. So this is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes once the broth reaches a boil. Now that it's come to a boil, we're just going to stir it every couple of minutes just to make sure that none of the potatoes are sticking to the bottom of the pan. Pretty soft. Okay, so at this point, it might take longer depending on how big your chunks of potatoes are. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the heat, grab one of these guys. This is a potato masher and I'm just going to mash some of the potatoes. Mashing the potatoes will help to thicken up the broth a little bit. Not all of them, just give it a good mash because the longer it continues to cook, the more the potato will break down. So now that I have that, I'm going to be adding the heavy whipping cream. So 
now that we've added the heavy whipping cream, we're going to bring it up to a low boil. The thicker you want it, the longer you're gonna let it boil. If you don't like a thinner potato soup, then maybe this recipe isn't for you. Um, what you can do is you can add flour in the beginning when you add the, the butter and do like a little roux. Cook it for a little bit before you add your liquid and that will thicken it up. But at this point, I'm just going to turn off the heat and I'm going to let it cool down for about five minutes. I'm just going to check for salt. I do think it needs just a little bit of salt, so I'm gonna do a couple of pinches. I did use a reduced sodium chicken broth. I'm gonna check it again after adding the salt. And now it is perfect. So I'm going to let this continue to cool down and it's going to thicken up. As it's cooling down, I'm going to be making a grilled ham and cheese sandwich and a little side salad. So before we taste this soup, I'm gonna add some toppings on top to make it kind of like a loaded baked potato soup. So I'm going to add a sprinkle of some cheese. And then this is our bacon that we cooked. Sprinkle of some bacon. And then I have some chives here. Beautiful. And last but not least, some fresh cracked black pepper. And I like a lot. You can also use crushed red pepper flakes if you want a little kick to it. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I will say one thing, though. It's a little bit thinner than I would like. I mean, it's still pretty hot, so it's going to continue to get thicker. But um, I either didn't add enough potato or I added too much chicken broth. So to fix this, what I usually do is I will add one of those like instant packs of the instant potatoes, the instant mashed potatoes. Go ahead and add a little bit, like a couple tablespoons of that until you get it to your desired thickness. That's one little trick. I try to avoid using flour in any sauces that I use just because, I don't know, I feel like... I don't know. I just don't really like it. If I can avoid it, I will. Um, not to say that I won't ever use it, but anyways, enough talking. Let's try this soup. I love how herby it is. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You guys have to try this. There's still good chunky potatoes in here. Mm. So on the side, I made a grilled ham and cheese sandwich on some cracked wheat sourdough. Mm. Mm. And then I also paired it with a salad. I did not have breakfast today um, because I just, I've been so busy. Once I got up, I had to get ready, take the kids to school, had to go get in the ingredients to make this. Mm. So. This salad is a chopped salad kit by Marketside. It's the Bacon Ranch Crunch. It has green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, carrots, kale, red cabbage, green onions, taco season, shredded cheese, bacon, and tortilla strips with jalapeno ranch dressing. That's really good. Mm. 
Now this is a comfort soup. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's creamy. You still get a little bit of bite from the potatoes. I used russet potatoes in here. Mm. It's herby, but it's not like, it's not too herby. It's so, it's just so good. Now I like my soup a bit on the thinner side, so. Those of you that like a thick potato soup, this might not be for you. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. I keep forgetting so now that I've been making more recipes on my channel I've been wanting to take pictures and add them to Instagram but I keep forgetting to do that mm. This is like one of those salads you can eat with a spoon because it's all chopped up. I love a good soup, don't you? Mm. I have one more recipe, soup recipe coming out this week. I'm going to try and squeeze in a total of two more. You guys have to try this, it's so good. I've seen other people make their potato soup and some of them are just super simple but I like a good flavor variety I guess you could say with the herbs and everything that I add to it sorry guys I keep having to like wipe my eye because it's watering it's, it's like irritated right now but anyways 
there are so many different potato soup recipes i don't remember where i got this recipe from um i've been making it like i haven't made it in a long time but i have been making this for like years at least five years Some people, sometimes I will add leeks to this and do like a potato leek salad or soup and everything else is exactly the same. But I absolutely love this recipe. You guys really need to try this. It's so good. Let me know if you would do anything different to this recipe. No words. Mm. Mm. I was trying to hide the burnt side. I burnt it a little bit. This is so good. I outdid myself once again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I want this to be the last bite. That was so good. I didn't even stop to take a drink of anything. Oh my gosh. I'm just having some bottled water. All right, you guys, I hope you guys try out this recipe. If you do, let me know how you like it in the comments below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Turn your notifications on so you're notified the second I upload a brand new video. Rate this video for me. It really helps my channel out. Share this with your family and friends, and I will see you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye.